seven super defense robot bot Leo. And I hope you enjoyed those little replays. They were very beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, super defense robots. They're interesting. I have to say they have potential. Obviously, but um, I don't think they're that good. Anyway, let's go through the deck. We're playing Triple Girka Uger and Double Accelerator. Uger can search out Accelerator, and that gives us a rank 4 of machine. Uh, a rank 4 machine. Since with Giga Uger's effect, we cannot spell some monsters except machines for the rest of the turn. But since we're going to go into Gear Gigant X, that's not that big of a deal. Next, we're playing Triple Gold Gadget and Triple Silver Gadget because, well, those are gadget level 4 machines. Come and give me those rank 4s, baby. Now, the thing we would like to search out of Gear Gigant X is our Symphonic Warrior engine. We have Symphonic Warrior Guitar and Symphonic Warrior Mix. Since we're using Mix and Guitar, we can search out Guitar with Gear Gigant X. Place it in the scale, discard a card, get mix on the field, and that will give us an additional normal summon. I really like this play, I really like this engine. Next is our other rank 4 engine, which is comprised of 1 orb 7 and triple Lilybot. Lilybot can just special summon orbital 7 back from the graveyard and make a rank 4 out of this. Something really staggering. Next is our Super Defense Robot Package with Triple Elephant, Triple Leo, and Triple Monkey. That's just normal summon Monkey, Special Summon Elephant, use Elephant's effect to make Monkey level 8, or use Leo for either rank 4, play with another Leo, or, or Orbital 7, and of course, for rank 8, play with Elephant. The thing with Elephant is that it cannot be used for an XE summon except for an XE summon of a machine type monster, so our rank 8 pool has been heavily diminished thanks to that effect, but there are still some really good monsters in that. Next is our consistency boost with Triple Pot of Desires, our negation with Called by the Grave the Trap Destruction with Harper's Feather Duster, and of course the Hand Traps. Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Draw, and Triple Imperm. That's pretty self-explanatory. Next is the Extra Deck. We play... this... Aegai... 
a guy on the sea castrum. Which is a pretty interesting rank 8 machine exceeds monster that during either player's turn you can just banish face down a random card. Uh, you can banish a random face down card from the opponent extra deck face up. So basically during each turn you can just go ahead and make your opponent's extra deck smaller. Which if you are able to randomly pick the correct cards is extremely extremely powerful. Next is the best I think rank 8 machine exceed you can play, the Gearsu. In two copies. One googly eye is Drum Dragon for the memes and because he can be very big. Spring and Ship X Blower. It's also a rank 8 machine and it can do stuff. So yeah, that that's basically why it's here. Uh, Gear Gigant X for any of our searches. One Baguska because it's Baguska. Dugares because it's nice to have one. And the Utopic Future Package. Uh, we cannot make uh, Utopic Future with Baguska or Dugares, so that is mostly done with the Gear Gigant Axis. But still, I think it's a very interesting play to have. Mrs. Radium, because we're playing mostly Earth Monsters and Platinum Gadget, because we're playing Machines, and I didn't have any idea what to put in here. Like I said, the deck has potential, but uh, it's not very high potential. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Hey, and if you enjoyed this, of course, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Check out, sign out. Peace!